It's now uh, 11 minutes past one on the 21st of December. And um, it's a special moment here because this is the moment of culmination. This is the, uh, this is the lowest point that the sun gets to at midday in the whole year. Because the reason why I got interested in this is because I was trying to decide what is best, inclined panels or flat panels. But I spent ages thinking about this. And this actual moment, 11 minutes, minutes past one, was a big part of the decision because you have to calculate how far apart to put the solar panels. So I was thinking of getting a whole load more panels over there and uh, I was trying to work out how far away they should be put and how many I could get, etc, etc. But as you can see, these panels aren't quite perfect because they've got a little bit of shadow, a little tiny bit of shadow. Although if you look downstairs, it's not affecting the production of energy very much. There's uh, some there. These ones here are shading those very, very slightly. But any anyway, after lots of deliberation, I decided to do flat panels. These are these are actually nine panels, uh, nine flat panels. So I'm quite pleased with my decision because these panels are really good they make loads of electricity they make more electricity than these panels and the fact that they're not inclined into the sun doesn't seem to be making them have a massive disadvantage over the flat ones of course the advantage of flat ones is they're much much cheaper to put up all you do is you put these little rails on at the bottom. That rail doesn't go through the whole way. That rail is just underneath the bits of the panel where they where they are fixed down. So you can fairly cheaply, I don't know, a couple of hundred euros, you can you can spend on the whole of the uh, fixing down of all those panels. Whereas if you uh, if you do these sort of panels. These were actually ma made by a metal worker in the village, but if you buy the if you buy these uh, inclined panels and especially like movable ones like these are, when they can be moved up and down, they're like uh, really expensive. For this, it maybe would have cost me over a thousand just in the in the mounts. So I'm quite happy with the decision I made. These nice flat panels. And also, if you had very high winds, there's no way these are going to go anywhere. Uh, well, there's no way these are going to go anywhere either. But you've got to, unless they lift the entire roof off. But maybe if you've got a hurricane or something. But I, I think it's actually, uh, for many people, it may be better just to have flat panels on your roof. But just get more of them with the money that you save I'm not having to anchor them down. But there you go. Here we are on the shortest day of the year in the south of Spain. There's the sun. In case you're interested in the actual figures, there's uh, the actual amount of electricity we're getting off all of those panels is 2,700 watts. Um, and if you want to see the... Uh, Power one is the flat panels getting 1,500, and power two is the tilted panels getting 1,200 watts. So there's the, there's the figures.